when you look at a smile like this, you're probably looking at her lips, not her teeth. And so um, maybe in this case, you are looking at her teeth because she has attachments, they're dark. She finished Invisalign treatment with a dentist and uh, knew that there were some limitations. Uh, wanted a beautiful broad smile, wanted a natural look, but wanted something that complemented the aesthetics, her aesthetics. And she's got these full lips. Now we need to just have a smile that's nice, even, and broad. And so if we look at this, there's a few things that are going on. And I'm going to walk you through the entire case, what the preparations look like, what the veneers look like, and then the final outcome. So uh, she had crooked, rotated teeth. That was completed. That has been evened out. I just met her. Now this is my starting point. So what am I seeing here? I think that we should first talk about the length of this tooth is ideal. But this one's short. Invisalign's not going to correct for all that. The length of this canine is the same length as this lateral. We want it to be a little bit longer. The, ang the edge of this premolar is indented, the height of these gums are lower, and the teeth are slightly in. With Invisalign, this doctor did an amazing job. These are our limitations. This will bring us to a point, but the next stage has to be something more invasive or less invasive, more invasive. You'll see the preparation. You'll tell me what you think. Um, so there's a gap here. Invisalign was completed perfectly. She doesn't like that gap. So um, my goal here is to match her entire smile to that front tooth. So if we're looking at this smile, my goal is to make a smile that fully evens out to that entire front tooth. And if the whole smile blends in with that, we're in good shape. So these are the preparations. Remember I said this was the tooth that I wanted to work towards to match. The lengths of the left and the right is identical now. Um, so once we come out of here, that veneer will be just what it needs to be on both the left and the right side. Remember you're seeing this little tissue in this area because I raised it. That heals in just a matter of a couple of days. Um, and the temporized, by the time they come back, it looks perfect. Same thing over here. I peaked the tissue on this side. I peaked the tissue on that side. The left and right canine positions are even. The left and right premolars are even. Now it's just time to move into the porcelain work. Um, so the temporaries, actually, is going to be our final working uh, smile. So in this case, what are we seeing? Those minor changes that are majorly impactful. The width that we added to her smile, the length of the front teeth and the laterals and the canines. It all of a sudden just looks like it's a nice, beautiful, perfect left and right, which actually doesn't often happen. But in her case, she has a lot of symmetry. Her midline is really wonderful. Like a, the ability to have the top and the bottom identical in line doesn't often happen. It happens here. The way that her lips are on the left and right, on the top and on the bottom, a lot of symmetry. So for me to kind of create left and right in her smile to be identical is something that I wanted to accomplish. These are the porcelain on the model. You can see how thin they are, that the stone is basically bleeding through in the back. But now we have the left and right, very even, very natural, beautiful shapes, textures, um, colors, irregularities, imperfections. When patients allow me to do that, I really like to incorporate that, the translucency of a natural tooth right here. And then this is her final smile. These are veneers. If we look at her smile, there's the midline. There's the smile going on this side, on this side, the gum height, the canines. This is the side profile. This is where we started. These canines were shorter, different laterals were different shapes, centrals were different. You look at this case and you're like, do you really need veneers? You know what? Maybe other people would have been done with Invisalign and they're happy. But I knew I can take that case of a pretty smile with beautiful lips and make it look gorgeous. And that's exactly what we did here.